Capricorn, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome everybody. My name is Michelle and this is an energy reading. Um, it's for Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. It's Capricorn Energy. But it's also for whoever is somehow for some reason drawn to it. The message comes to you at exactly the right time. There's something in this message that you need to hear, whether it's going to clarify something for you, reveal something for you, or just make you inspired. It is your message. So this is where your message begins. Now, this is interesting because this doesn't come out just for anybody. Take the lead is all about the sense of nobody else knows how to direct you in this. Nobody else is going to be able to give you the answers that you need. And if you've been seeking or asking questions and not really finding that you're getting anything satisfactory, it may be because there are no answers to what you're seeking. To the questions that you're asking. Um, it could just be that it's going to take you to take the initiative to invent something. Now you are a cardinal sign, my dear Capricorn. So inventing things, initiating things is in your nature. So this is your cue to go ahead and start doing it, to stop asking questions in terms of thinking that you're going to get the solid answer and start asking questions more in terms of gathering resources and laying down blueprints and figuring things out for yourself. You're going to have to initiate and take the lead yourself in this circumstance. And we're going to get deeper into exactly what that is. Remember, guys, as I divide this deck, if any card falls out, I'm just going to leave it on the table where it fell out because it's part of the reading. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, be sure that you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And then also select that notification bell. And if you select all notifications, you will get notified when I go live and do free tarot card readings on the channel, which I do regularly, but not when I'm sick, um, just so that you know. <clears throat> if you're looking for a personal reading, I provide those as well. Please go to my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com, and you can book and schedule right there under the services page. Um, and you'll get your you'll get your message within 24 hours of whatever day you booked. So it's a pretty quick turnaround. All right, I'm going to finish dividing this deck. And then we're going to cleanse the energy before we get into the main reading. Capricorn. Claim your independence. <laughs> um, this is this is Aries energy. And what I always love about Cat is if you look at the card, Cat is looking back. But it's not looking back in terms of, oh, I long for this or I miss this. Cat is almost looking back like, I'm so glad I'm not there. Look at them fools still wasting their damn time. It's almost like a reassurance of where Kat is right now, where they are right now. In, in terms of that's why they look back to almost feel sorry for the people who have not caught up with them. 
So it's almost like you're not even identifying as whatever it was in your past. And so now you're self-initiating where you want to go. I don't need to ask anybody. I don't want to ask anybody. Um, I don't think they'd be able to solve it, fix it, or help me. Or nothing that I've done so far has is going to be able to help me except it inform me that I don't ever want to go back. So there is definitely a sense of, yeah, I'm, I'm not... I'm not even relating to where I used to be or what I used to be. I don't want to go back there. And the only way forward is, I mean, the only way to go now is forward. Um, claim your independence from whatever you were. There's like, there's a little bougie strain in here too. And then take the lead, take the lead now in that you're, it's almost like you're, you've got the self-esteem now to say, okay. I can't suffer any fools anymore. I'm just going to have to take charge because if you want something done right, you got to get it done yourself. And that's the energy that I'm feeling. I haven't actually felt that from you guys in a while. Um, I know Pluto will eventually retrograde back into Capricorn, the very, very like 29 degrees of Capricorn. But I think the reason why I'm not picking up so much on almost like the shakiness in Capricornian energy anymore is because Pluto is almost done, almost almost done. And by uh, November of this year, it will be done with Capricorn for like two over 200 some odd years. It will, won't be back. So, um, so there is this energy of, of things aren't as shaky for you anymore. You're starting to understand and, and get a hold of yourself again and really be self-assured again, which is a wonderful aspect. And I'm really feeling it come through very strongly right now. And then we have freedom is yours. That's coming out on the other side of that. Now, freedom of yours is yours. As Aquarian energy, there is a sense of, um, there is a little bit of chaos. There is a little bit of um, nervousness because horses are nervous. But they're nervous in that the sense of, I'm going to take action. I've got to, I've got to trust my impulses. I'm going to move forward. I also want to move forward by my own volition like I want to move forward making my own rules creating my own rules freedom is yours freedom is yours from a past that in a lot of ways I think you did not like or did not want or even if you did like it even if you loved it you realizing it's over and at this point you're okay with that you're finally gained freedom away from whatever those expectations are that you now no longer want to identify with so let's let's I mean that's good news Let's go into the seven day spread. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how everything unfolds this week. Let's get the seventh day now. Ooh, there is a brand new, brand new. Ooh, whoa. Let's see how we end up here. Okay. So Capricorn, let's go. Day one. Day one. This is the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles is people recognizing your work, recognizing your value, um, or you doing a good job. Um, you gaining confidence and realizing that you do have something that is fruitful or valuable to share. And then we have temperance. So finding a way to make an impossible situation possible. Um, expanding and growing. To me, this would be about expanding or growing your work or your skill set and people recognizing you or being recognized for an expansion you recently did with your work. Could have been going back to school, getting another degree. It could have been... Um, it could have been opening up a new product line, whatever it is, this is you expanding your portfolio and people starting to recognize, or at the very least, the people being you, you recognizing what was going on with you, you recognizing it. Um, okay. Let's go to day two. We're going on to day two. Sorry, guys. Um, day two is abundance. 
So there's some sort of breakthrough that's going on or happening here. Um, or that you are coming into a sense of really believing and knowing who you are and knowing yourself. Um, actually realizing your resources as well. And then we have a new idea, um, being able to support a new idea or recognize that uh, a new interest is something that you like, it's almost like you have enough resources to be able to start investigating or searching for this new interest. And then there's a whole bunch of happiness here when it comes to Piscean energy. If you're dealing with a Pisces, there's a conversation that really helped you realize there's a lot of happiness here or that you're very happy that you had the conversation with them because it was a big breakthrough when you had that conversation and it's going to make both of you much, much happier. Um, something that's going to help you feel more like a family or feel feel like you're you're valued um, or help out your family or be able to get access to resources um, if this isn't about you and a Pisces specifically this is that Piscean energy of sort of the sky's the limit creative the creativity is like the sky's the limit there's no there's no limit uh, when it comes to Piscean energy there is no limitation it's just trusting yourself enough to allow yourself to create and be creative this is a really beautiful energy for you very new okay capricorn let's get to day three let's get to day three um day three is queen of wands this is taking your own life into to taking your life into your own hands. And I don't mean in terms of mortality, I mean in terms of your direction. This is you deciding I'm going to stay creatively free, I'm going to stay financially free, I'm going to stay stay independent. This is you finding your sense of confidence as well as um uh, finding your sense of, I want people to see, I want people to notice. This is also your sense of being able to figure something out. Day three is when you'll take off. Day three is when you'll actually physically launch. Either it's physically you're going somewhere, Capricorn, or this is when you launch your idea or start to really realize um, this is how I'm going to make it work or this is how I'm going to execute it. Really, the decision is day three. When you know, oh, I can, I can do something. I can, I can do something that I want to do, and I'm gonna launch it now. Okay. What about day four? Day four is Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles is you. This sense of whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. This sense of now I know how to organize. Now I know how to fix things. Now I know how to compartmentalize everything and, and cultivate everything. Now I know what I have to do and I have the resources to do what I have to do. Now I'm figuring everything out. I'm taking charge of this situation. This could be opening your own business too. I say that to you guys a lot. What about day five? So we have the strength card and the hierophant. This is the strengthening of your situation, your circumstance, like figuring out how to strengthen it and to firm it up and to make it reliable. Finding strength in the situation, finding strength in your fears is the secret to being able to solidify your circumstance or your situation. This could also be finances, strengthening your finances. Uh, finding a way to face any kind of especially financial fears. But ultimately, this is strengthening. It, literally, this could be strengthening your marriage. Like a decision. Sorry. A decision you decided to make recently is strengthening either your marriage or strengthening not just your resolve, but strengthening your cornerstones, strengthening what you, how you how you want to do things making you feel like things are solid now like by day five 
things are solid. I can actually really depend on these things. Okay. What about day six? What about day six? Day six is disappointment. Uh, five of cups, but I don't think it negates any of this or voids any of this. Day six is with disappointment in what? Oh, <laughs> day six is disappointment in I have to take all this. It's almost like day six is when you realize like there's all this this great like fanfare and, and I'm going to start this. Day six is when it may hit you. Um, everything that you actually have to do or all the hard work that you have to do. But I think it's more looking back on day six, the sense of I don't want to get lost or I don't want to overburden myself. There was disappointment in the past when there was too many burdens or when I took too much on myself. So day six isn't so much a warning for your future. It's a remember, making you remember for a second a past situation uh, where you feel like you felt you, you took on too much. So even though you have access to resources, there is also this sense of do I have to tap into it? Or, um, yeah, I, it's almost like you're reminding yourself on day six. Day six is the reminder of when you, um, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, day six is the reminder of don't take on too much. The disappointment of when you overburdened yourself or you tried to do too much. Because that, that's not freedom either. You know, being the martyr isn't you being free. It's you taking on everybody else's responsibility. So there's a sense of remind yourself, especially over here, don't take on too much. We know you can do it. And this is a great new adventure you're embarking on. But do it differently. Don't do it the same way that you did it up until now. You've got to change. And I think that day six is when you catch yourself. Oh, excuse me. I'm doing too much. You know, I, I don't want that anymore. I don't want that. I can grow and succeed without that mentality. I know that I deserve it without overworking myself or losing myself in this situation. And it's going to be hard. When you change, you're going to find change is very difficult because it's so easy to slide back into old habits that actually lead to toxicity. So it's good that you even caught yourself. We're going to get into day seven, but I need to, um, sorry guys. I need to first, get a moon card for you guys. Capricorn. Okay. A personal issue reaches resolution. This has to do with your family. This has to do with your family or close personal friends, people that you consider your family. This is Cancerian energy. So this, this energy of it's almost supportive is that it's reaching its own. Oh, in Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches a personal issue reaches resolution. I don't know if it's somebody in your family that you've been worried about or some family situation that you've been worried about, but you have been working your ass off and you don't have to work your ass off anymore. It's just will you or won't you allow yourself to not have to work your ass off anymore? You know, the sense of the fear of letting go of all that you had to do that you shouldn't have had to do, but you can let it go now. Let's get some, let's understand why all this is happening now. Building blocks, yeah, because you built yourself up, because you built yourself to the point where things could be okay. You could see over the top of something and be able to see the future, a change in the wind. You built yourself finally strong enough to a point where you could actually, well, things will actually be different. So that's what changed things. Let's go to the extended reading. I'm going to pull a, an angel message card for you guys, and then I'm also going to go over day seven, and we'll continue this reading there. I'll see you guys there.